Hey Russell fam, in today's video we are going to talk about what a homeschool mom worries about and why you shouldn't. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to Russell's Loving Life. I am a homeschooling mom of two kids and I have been homeschooling since 2012. Here on our YouTube channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to join our email list so you will be the first to know when a new blog comes out or if I have a coupon code for one of my affiliates. I promise I will not bombard your email box. I will send one email a week. And we also have a homeschool store. Make sure to check that out. It is stocked with discount homeschool supplies and everything you will need. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. If you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Leilani over at Living With Eve. I will link her channel and the playlist down in the description box to this collaboration. And this collaboration is talking about what homeschool moms worry about and why they shouldn't worry. So there are so many things that homeschool moms worry about. So check out this playlist to see what all is going on and what other homeschool moms are worrying about and why they shouldn't worry about them. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about homeschooling looking like a public school and why you shouldn't worry about it. When I first started homeschooling, my husband and I both went to public school. So that's what we thought school was supposed to look like. We thought that our children were supposed to, you know, sit around a desk or a table and we had to have all this stuff up on the walls. I had to have boards. I thought we had to homeschool between the hours of eight and three. And boy, were my eyes open wide when I first got our curriculum. And for Bailey, when he was in kindergarten, it took about an hour of sit down work and we were done. So we got to do fun things, field trips, explore. Um, now that he is going into sixth grade, you know, a long day for us is, is four hours. And that's typically long for us. But I don't want new homeschool parents to think that your homeschool has to look like a public or private school because it doesn't. Um, that is a big worry that lots of homeschool moms have is I can't homeschool because I can't make it look like that. Well, no, you don't have to make it look like that because you are working one-on-one -on -one with your child. You don't have, you're not teaching tons of kids at one time. So once your child is done, you get to move on to another subject or you get to homeschool your kids from different grade levels or different skill levels together. You get to teach the history and the science and the Bible and read alouds and do all those things together, where in public school, it's not like that. So you have to wait on someone to finish, or you have to worry about if that child's not getting that skill that you're trying to teach. But homeschooling looks nothing like a regular public or private school. So my first year of homeschooling, once I realized that and I found our groove, I didn't worry about it anymore. I knew what my homeschool needed to look like. So never think that your homeschool has to look a certain way. Do what works best for your family. If you have been around my channel, you know I have talked about this subject a lot, is comparing yourself your child and your homeschool to other homeschool and families. I'm here to tell you, don't do that. That is a slippery slope and it will just drag you down. 
you are different. Your child is different. Their learning styles are different. Your home is different. Your schedule or routine is different. So don't compare yourself to anyone else because they are totally different from anything that you do. Yes, we all teach the course, same core subjects, but we all teach them differently because our children are different. They learn different, you know, so stop comparing yourself your child and your homeschool to others because it's nothing but stress and overwhelming so just get it out of your mind and don't worry about it i know this was a short little video but i just wanted to participate in this collaboration because there are so many things that homeschool moms worry about and they shouldn't worry about them so make sure you check out the playlist down in the description box below there are going to be lots of awesome other homeschool moms that are going to tell you different things, and I hope you enjoy it. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye!